Welcome back, folks. Now that they've delivered the mobile home, let's watch them set it up, get it level, and strap to the ground so that uh, it doesn't fly away in a hurry. Puss on the back has got picked up, and that thing really does say platypus on it. It says the CSI platypus, and there's even a, a animal, a platypus animal, on the side of it, which is a little crazy, but okay, that's what it's called.
axles and tires up. And you can probably see that right uh, there. And they're starting to put straps in. Hold down straps right down here. And he's working that way. So you'll see him here in a minute. Oh, he's right there past the door now. He's right there. That guy seems to be running the whole thing. Um, that guy just got out. He's working on the axles. truck driver that come around the corner there. He's got a brown jacket on. clue what that is I would assume that is uh, something to keep it from eroding up underneath the pillars it's a piece of metal he's beating down in the ground it looks like a shovel That is not for the pier. Them things he's beating in there. He's beating them in beside the uh, tie downs. Pieces that they screwed in the ground, they're beating that down beside it. Or in front of it, or no, behind it. I don't know. I don't know what that would be for. 
Must be some kind of leverage deal. Pretty good. They um they take that axle and on that far side where they're gonna pull it through, they drop that spindle down inside the tire. So the tire acts like a sled coming across there and comes right up through the dirt and uh, comes all the way across with it. So that spindle's not digging in. The tire's kind of floating on top of the ground there, which is pretty nice. That's the brake axle, that's the one you want to make sure they don't get no dirt in there. And the tire hung up. There it comes. Hung up. They pulled it in. set it down y'all and uh, now they're uh, putting the last of the plastic under there for the vapor barrier and they're uh, loading that platypus back up and yada 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 should be done here shortly This thing just got hauled in here two days ago, so I figured I would show you what they look like whenever you buy a uh, used trailer that's been replaced uh, with a new trailer somewhere. You know, the, the dealer hauls off the old one. We've got our buddies here helping us. How's it going, man? It's good. Good, good. <laughs> this is Lewis. <laughs> so one of the numbers I don't mind telling you is that the price to set it up was $2,800. And that sounds like a ton of money, but whenever you see what they actually do, and we've got some video of that that we can show, uh, whenever you see what they actually do, more trash, that's the flooring that he's pulling out. Well, I'll show you that here in a minute. But whenever you, uh, whenever you see what they actually do whenever they set one up, the 
2800 kind of makes sense so they came in here with a couple you know a couple big trucks uh they had to have a pilot car and all of that and then they set everything up so um now that did that just included physical things that didn't include electrical that didn't include plumbing it included the blocks and then for a mobile home you actually have to have tie down straps to basically tie it down to the ground to make sure that whenever there's a big storm you don't get knocked off the foundation so they came in they got us all leveled up set everything up got the tie down straps in everything's cool so it's a nice older trailer I think it's a 97 something like that it's got vinyl siding which is good and it, you know it's in it's in decent cosmetic shape on the outside it needs some work we've got our uh, the electrical for the previous mobile home of course was right here and whenever we installed it we pretty much had them install it right over the previous electrical. It didn't have to be like that. We could have made it, because we had to rerun a new line anyway, but we could have got it off. But basically this, this home was almost exactly the same size as the previous home, but the previous home was just destroyed. Um, it's the panel for the box. We've got to get that hooked back up and then um, have it inspected before that will turn on the power. But uh, we've got a nice little starting place here. This end of the home has no window. This is the bedroom on this end. This is a two bedroom, two bath. And the, the purpose of this is we're gonna rent it. So let's see what we've got. Manufacturer certifies to the best of the manufacturer's knowledge and belief that this manufactured home has been inspected in accordance with the requirements of the Department of Housing and Urban Development and is constructed in conformance with the federal manufactured home construction and safety standards in effect on the date of manufacture. See data plate. There's another label inside we'll look at here in a minute. Hey, I mean, you got some little stuff that probably got damaged in moving it either to their lot or to our lot. And then they put down this vapor barrier too. They did not, for that price, that did not include uh, the skirting, obviously. Um, we think we're probably, I don't know this for sure, but I think we're probably going to brick it so it looks decent, you know. We, uh, some people will put these in and just make it the bare minimum. We're actually going to try to make it uh, a nice, clean, respectful home. We're not, we're not trying to go high end on everything, but we want it to be uh, something that somebody will feel proud to live in, you know, <laughs> at least to have a modicum of that. Um, we're not trying to make it a, you know, a, uh, a slumlord type trailer situation. So if you're looking to get into rentals, I just feel like it's, you're better off if you, you know, if you have repairs to do, do the repairs. Don't treat your tenants like, uh, like they're just a, a uh, rent bill coming in every month. You know, you got to kind of take care of people. So we're going to get it nice and presentable and respectable. This is the, uh, this is the uh, septic tank. It actually curves around somewhere <laughs> and heads over there. Uh, that seems to all be in good shape. Everything's cool. So we've got to get the plumbing hooked back up to that. Got a little water spigot here. Looks like we've got an electrical outlet here. That's pretty cool. This is a little bit elevated out of the ground. So we're going to have a pipe here that we can see, but I'm just going to cover it up so that it, uh, looks presentable these steps on the front are the old steps from the other trailer we just drug them over here so we could get in and out we're going to build some new ones um, that look a little more presentable than that and then up top we've got a we've got some shingle issues so we're gonna to have to get up there and see what's going on with that I think they had a they had some kind of porch built onto it at the other location um, but we've got some guys here that are ready and willing to work on whatever we want them to work on, so. 
All right, so that's pretty much the outside. We'll go inside and check out uh, the inside. We're, pro we're probably going to do a, a different episode on pretty much every part of the uh, of the inside as we work through it. Right now, they are going crazy on the bathroom, so we'll go see what that's starting out as. Y'all come back now here. <laughs> 